Hello friends, I am Sujit from Advanced Excel Training Center, IPT Excel Schools. So today we discuss the Excel formula. In the last videos, we discussed about the information formula, just like uh, true and false formula and cell formula. And today we discuss about the financial formula, right? How I create the financial formulas or financial calculation. So we have a start here. First, we give we give here the amount. So we have get the loan from any bank, just like fifty thousands, and bank charge me the rate eight percent yearly, and loan time is the three year. How many EMI we have to pay this bank? So we have the 50 loan amount is the 50,000, rate is the 8% yearly and time is the 3 year. So now I want to calculate the EMI. So calculate the EMI, apply the formula PMT, right? PMT formulas. In the PMT first is the rate, you can give the rate, but rate is the monthly. Because here is the yearly, so you have rate here monthly, quarterly, which period where you have uh, calculated just like uh, your your interest add your principles say so give the interval so this is the monthly so we have apply here divide by 12 and same time the 3 is a in the year but i want to the month so multiply here 12 and select here the 50000 now we get the result 15 Double six, but every information form, every your logical uh, sorry financial formula give the result in the negatives, not a positive negatives numbers. So minus one five double six point eight two have the EMI for the fifty thousand rupees eight percent and three year. But how can we have check and prove that this calculation is good is correct? So we have right here 50,000 uh, 50, and rate is the monthly so we have 8% divided by 12 and now we have calculated the EMI the monthly and uh, we calculate the interest the monthly and plus here 135133 and EMI is the 1566 1566.82 so after the one month the uh, total amount principal and interest is the 5033 and uh, we have paid 1566 so we have just minus here now 48 uh, 48 433 so now same calculation in the next month and 3 year it means 36 month so 36 month we have dropped down here This is the calculation. So you can calculate here, but you have some problem here. We have. calculation here so that minus 566 you know, we have now the uh, the six for 1566 and again the 10 double six seven five so some points we have uh, difference here because uh, in your EMI not as 8.36 uh, 8 you can check here so that problem here. you can clear the EMI here but I want to uh, calculate the interest. This is the future amount. This is the future amount. So I want to also clear the EMI here. So 
I want to plan to investment. I want to plan to investment. In the future, I want to amount is the five lakhs. And bank give the rate me the six percent yearly, and I I want to retire after ten year. So how many? So how many EMI we 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 have paid the monthly? After ten year, six percent yearly, we got the fifty thousand. Five lakhs. Sorry, five lakhs. So we have apply here the PMT formula. PMT, the rate divided by twelve times. Multiply by twelve, and we have skipped the PV. P is the PV is the present value, but I I have the future value FB. So we have select the FB. Now we get the EMI. If we have paid the three zero one five three thousand five one rupees the every month after I if bank the six percent after that ten year we have got the five lakhs. Rupees, five lakhs rupees. Now I have the EMI. I have the EMI. I have. I want to pay two thousand monthly. Uh, bank says five percent is the yearly, and time is the five year. So after five, I, after five year, if I have pay, I have pay the every month two thousands. How many rupees we get? So we have used here F B formula, F B, the future value. Now we have applied the formula F B. Select the rate, divide by twelve. Select the time, multiply by twelve, and now. PMT your EMI. If the EMI press the enter, you can get the rupee one lakh thirty six thousand. One lakh thirty six thousand. If you pay two thousand rupees the per month, if bank give the five percent interest. But I have no. I have. Uh, I want to fix deposit. I want to fix deposit. I have no any uh, recurring amount. We have want to fix the budget. I want to fix the fifty thousand rupees, the four five percent after five years. How many rupees I want to get? We have get. I will get. Sorry. So now we apply the formula at the future value. Select the rate, divide by twelve. Select the time, multiply by twelve, and also select the your. Uh, we have skip the PMT. And select the PV. PV is the uh, present value. Presently, we have invested the fifty thousand. So now sixty-four thousand, sixty-four thousand one hundred and sixty-seven rupees. We have get after five year or five year and five percent interest rate. But I I have the rupees. I I I have the rupees. I want to. I I also it plan the retirement plan. I want to ten lakh rupees. A bank give the seven percent after six year. So how many rupees uh, invest now? In the future, in the future, I want to ten lakh rupees. So how many uh, rupees I invest now? Then I will get the ten lakh after the six year. That time we have used the formula PV. PV it means present value. Select the rate, divide by twelve. Select the time, multiply by twelve, and skip the PMT. Select the PV. So six thousand fifty seven, fifty seven, eight hundred forty nine rupees. I have paid. After that we get the rupees. Now, I want to double my rupees. Yeah, right. I want to double. Right, right. I, I have applied the fifty thousand, and I want to one lakh rupees. 
I want to one lakh rupees. And bank give me the five percent interest rate. So how many take the time? If I if I my uh, money is double, my money is double. If bank give the five percent, so I want to clear clear uh, uh, calculate the time. So apply here formula N T E R. Select the rate and rate divided by twelve. And we have a P V present value is the fifty thousand and future value here present. Now give the error. Why? Because in the NPR formula and rate formula, we have give the two inputs, present and future, and one inputs in the negative. So we have give the future value in the negative signs. After that, we can one six six month, one six six month. So we have just divide by twelve. Now give the year. After thirteen year, after thirteen year, uh, yeah, fourteen year. After fourteen year, we give the round year. After fourteen year, we got we got the double. If you have interest rate five percent, you can also clear the rate here. Okay, after fourteen year, we got the. Uh, ten lakh rupees. I invest the fifty thousand rupees. How many interest bank give me? So that time apply the formula rate. Select the rate here. Uh, sorry, rate formula. Give the NPR. So this is the monthly and PMT PV here and minus FV and press the enter. So this is the zero percent. And when you multiply by twelve, you can get the result zero point zero five. Apply the percentage number. Here is the percentage. So this is the financial formula. In the financial category formula, we have the many formulas. But problem is that if which person have a financial background, that person give the uh, understand the financial formula. Okay, but the, in the MIS report automations, we have no need to other thing formulas, financial formulas. So, next video we discuss about the next step of the formula. Thank you.